Praise God. As a servant of the Most High God, I have a trifold mandate. Number one is to pray and heal the sick. Number two, to drive out demons. And number three, to preach the life-saving, life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, we talk about resurrection. We read from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 11, and it says, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Hallelujah. Part of scripture in the book of Hebrews says that, it is appointed for man to die once, but after that is judgment. So we'll all die. Not quite. There are some who will be alive when Christ comes a second time. But nevertheless, we need the Spirit of God in our lives so that we are resurrected. And how do you get the Holy Spirit? You have to repent, meaning you turn away from your sins and declare that Jesus is Lord and stay on the boat of salvation. John chapter 3 verse 5 says, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Hallelujah. See, when we come forth from the womb of our moms, our mothers, we are born of the flesh. That's what it means. Then you come to this life as an alien. You don't know what's happening, why you're here. And gradually you start understanding things and one of the most important things that you need to understand is that the owner of the universe, Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, is what you need for the next life. You see, compared to eternity, our lives on this earth is just like a blink of an eye, you know. It comes and goes really quick, despite what you may think. You realize that because eternity is forever. Our minds cannot fathom this. There's no end to time. And that's where the Almighty is and he wants us to be there. We need to be raised from the dead to our eternal lives. And the consequences are better be that we live with Christ forever. So you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1.13 says, In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also having believed you were sealed. With the Holy Spirit of promise. Hallelujah. Are you sealed with the Holy Spirit? Are you trying to inherit the kingdom of God through your works? Yes, works are important. As a result of salvation by grace, your works will be evident. But that's not what saves you. What saves you is the grace of God. And what's the evidence that you are truly saved? You don't have to wait for judgment today for you, for you to know whether you're saved or not. You can know here and now. And how do you know that? You are filled with the Holy Spirit. And how do you know you're filled with the Holy Spirit? You have to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which are detailed in the book of Galatians chapter 5. It speaks about love, patience, long-suffering, gentleness. And you have to see that your works show that you really are sealed with the Holy Spirit. Your works will be seen by people and you'll see them and know that indeed. I'm not exhibiting the works of the flesh, which are again are in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, which is dissensions, divisions, fights, debauchery, and, and all that. So, if you're not filled with the Holy Spirit, ask God for the Holy Spirit. Repent of your sins. Contact us. Go to your local church that follows Jesus Christ. Do not follow other Christians, but they will disappoint you. Follow Jesus Christ. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you and shine his face on you. Shalom.